After an exhausting 13-hour flight, Pope Francis made it to Latin America. The first stage of his eight-day trip began in Ecuador. The Pope arrived in Quito, which is the country's capital. And right from the start, he felt a strong wind as he got off the plane. The country's president, Rafael Correa, welcomed the Pope in the red carpet along with his wife. And to the side, there were children dressed with traditional clothing representing each one of the country's main regions. In his speech, the president referenced the Pope's recently published encyclical. He also highlighted the need to defend life from conception to natural death. He also focused on the social inequalities of the continent and, jokingly, on the natural beauty of Ecuador. Los argentinos, muy orgullosos dicen, el Papa es argentino. Mi querida amiga Dilma Rousseff, presidenta de Brasil, dice, bueno, el Papa será argentino, pero Dios es brasileño. Por supuesto que el Papa es argentino. Probablemente Dios es brasileño, pero de seguro el paraíso es ecuatoriano. Bienvenido, su santidad. In his remarks, Pope Francis talked about the future of Latin America, highlighting the need to care for the less privileged. Podemos encontrar en el Evangelio las claves que nos permitan afrontar los desafíos actuales, valorando las diferencias, fomentando el diálogo y la participación, sin exclusiones, poniendo una especial atención en nuestros hermanos más frágiles y en las minorías más vulnerables, que son la deuda que todavía toda América Latina tiene. He then added that the church in Latin America must not lose sight of its main purpose, which is to proclaim the life and message of Jesus Christ. He described it as a light amid the darkness. Y la luna no tiene luz propia. Y si la luna se esconde del sol, vuelve oscura. El sol es Jesucristo. Y si la iglesia se aparta o se esconde de Jesucristo, se vuelve oscura y no da testimonio. As part of the welcoming ceremony, the Symphonic Youth Orchestra of Ecuador sung Apamoy Shungo, which combines classical and indigenous tunes. A group of 40 deaf children who wore white gloves also took part in the ceremony. In fact, two of them got a chance to personally greet Pope Francis.